So who the, who the standouts from the new announcement for you guys that you're like, yes, that's a great addition, and I can't f- wait to see him. Frank Carter, the rattlesnakes. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what a way to open for for Reading at least. What a way to open the weekend. That's you know start as you mean to go on. Yeah, that's that that Friday. I think I was saying to you guys when when you were going live, but opening with Frank Carter. Yeah. And then it's a, for me, it would be a little dip over to the one extra stage for Sir Spyro. Then you've got on the dance stage, Piri and Tommy Villiers, who's like a real small up and coming amazing dance act. Everyone you know, Bacar, Pink Panthers, and then you go into mm. like Circle Ways, Little Sims, Glass Animals, and Dave, fucking yeah. hell! It's mad, Dave, isn't outrageous. It? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think with even getting Frank Carter as a special guest, I mean, Frank, they could have easily put Frank Carter as a subheadliner. So mm-hmm. then that's that's almost like a bonus subheadliner you're getting, and that's something we wouldn't have expected technically. So you actually get more for than what you bargained for. <laughs> sure. For sure. Similar with um, what's it? Nothing but thieves last year doing the yeah. doing the opening. They're 100 percent a sub headline. So and I felt a bit bad for them because at least at Reading, I don't know what it was like at Leeds, but the sound sound was awful because it was the first Mate, time they'd set up the stage, and it, and it really pissed me off because I was really excited to see them. Arena. Yeah, getting into the arena on that Friday. Took so- f- Ages. Yes. Yeah. 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 I just remember going like I think we got there like 15 minutes early, which. I don't know. I think that's reasonable. I think 15 minutes to like go and get a beer, queue to get in or whatever. And they just weren't letting people in. And I was like, <laughs> I can hear them starting. Yeah. Like, who's yeah. there? If I was them, I'd be like, I'm not f-ing going out until people are here. But yeah, I think that's a really interesting way of doing it. I like a, a massive guilty pleasure of mine is I absolutely love watching like the WrestleMania WWE. And something yeah. they've started doing over the last few years is putting on one of their biggest like cards. At the first. start. And, and, and I think that's a really good way of going, hang on a minute, how do we get people in the arena? How do we yes. justify some of these bigger names? Especially if you're taking away like two entire stages, that's quite mm. a good way of doing that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think my, my little secret last year was um, to get there at a decent time before an act and then go around the side and then get through those little gates that they'd shut off to get like around the front. Yeah. So then you you could get there. Like we were, what, what was it? It was when Joe Cinnamon played and we'd just seen Sam Fender and we sprinted and then all my mates were like, no, no, they're not going to open up the side and they were still letting people in. So then you just see hundreds of people trying to run in to get into like the front. So yeah. in that five minute gap, you managed to get to the basically the front of one, then the front of the other. I mean, you're yeah. five or six people back, but... I did like that last year, but mm. I think um, yeah, it was a bit weird last year with all the timings with everything. Hey, they've got they've got some improvements to make, and I think there's been a lot of feedback on that. You have a look. There's a, a lot fewer names on the main stage at the minute. Whether mm. they add more on, I'm not sure, or whether they keep it as it is and give us you know 15, 20 minutes between each act on the stage to kind of give us time to be able to get over um, over stages yeah, so you don't have to leave mm. one early to then because I remember having to leave Jerry Cinnamon a bit early to get over for um, uh, for Biffy which which yeah. annoyed me because I missed oh, what was it Disco Land the one that Jerry always does at the end oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I was kind of walking backwards trying to get to Biffy but also trying to watch <laughs> Jerry as well so, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that's uh, the the um the bittersweet, but then you get to go see Biffy, so. But yeah, I was right at the front for Biffy as well, so I wasn't wasn't <laughs> complaining. It looks at the moment like on that on the Friday on Main Stage East, Dave Pelagy, Little Sim, Circle Waves, Griff, Black Honey, Frank Carter, so that's seven. It looks like there's five and six on all the others, so I think there's a couple of other names on that yeah, get sure. added. But I don't think it's going to be Playboy Carty, everyone that's listening, and I no. don't think that you're going to get another Post Malone slot. Sorry. <laughs> or Sam or Fender. Or Two Door. <laughs> or Wombats. Or Two Door. What about you, Adam? Who are you looking forward to on the uh, on the new lineup? Uh, I think I think it's to be fair. I think they've done all right. I think um, a couple. I think they've done a really clever booking with DMAs. Yes. I think um, that's probably brought down the hate a little bit just because of how many people wanted DMAs there and it's been a couple of years. Um, if I don't know if they've played at all before, have they? Yeah, they yeah, played they in 2000 and... I'm going to say 18. 18. Yeah, yeah, I think you might be right. Um, yeah, uh, and as as you've mentioned a lot, Willow as well. Great booking, yes. really good book. That's really smart, um, I think, from, from that standpoint. I kind of thought we might see Olivia Rodrigo on there. I thought from like a yeah. hop slash alternative act, I thought that might that might 
crop up. Not that I'm like the world's biggest Olivia Rodrigo fan by any means, but like it and does like feel like that well. fits into it well. But I guess Willow fills that those boots really nicely. Yeah. Um, Although there is a gaping hole for the big female pop act. You know, we've had Charlie XCX, Dua Lipa, in, you know, previous years. Mabel as well. Mabel. Yeah. There's, there, there isn't. There isn't a standout yeah. one of those. I guess. I guess Halsey and Megan The Stallion are pretty big yeah. pop acts in their own right, and yeah. I guess that that slot might have just been elevated to a headline one, which I think is really needed. If I'm honest with you. But no, I think you might be right. There might be like a Becky Hill-sized pop act in the middle of the day. Yeah. That would. That was yeah. mental, yeah. wasn't it? Well, I also I think they're gonna end up moving um, RD to the main stage. I think that would be far too. I know it's a, a mate, as you said before uh, when we discussed it before. It's a perfect alternative to Rage Against the Machine. Mm. But I just think it's gonna get. It's gonna. It's gonna be like. Um, little pump was isn't it mm. it's just going to be stupidly busy i don't know they might not but i just think it's going to be stupidly busy i think yeah. it could be right there especially as like if you look at the dance stage which is the next biggest stage <coughs> i could be wrong but i don't think hybrid minds are the big sunday headliner that say wilkinson or gorgon no. city are i agree yeah um, don't get me wrong I think that they're they're great like Wilkinson back to back with Sigma yeah. I could kind of see like oh cool I'll go see either Rage or Hybrid Mind oh sorry or Sigma or Biba Doobie or RD like that right there is actually that's actually quite a good Sunday headline option yeah. sure. but I just don't think that unless they switch the two around like the dance stage becomes the 1X and the 1X becomes the dance but it's not going to happen 